Hey there YouTube. I have been working uh, on one particular project here at King County um, that I'm now trying to wrap up because as some of you may know, my last day at King County is actually Friday of this week. So um, I have been uh, working on this project for some time. It's a, a transit um, a transit upgrade project for an entire corridor. And some of the intersections are getting um, bus lanes um, where the bus actually will have priority. And this is not exactly the same as transit priority, although we will be setting up transit priority there. But at these intersections, the bus is designed to actually get a green or be told to go before the corresponding vehicle phase. And so that's what this particular video is gonna be about. Um, really quick, uh, you may see behind me, I have quite a bit of antique signal controllers behind me, like really, really cool stuff. I promise before I leave King County, I will make a video about some of the equipment we have back here, um, at least to give you a chance to take a gander, but we have stuff dating back to the early 1940s or at least sometime in the 1940s, that's still functional. So um, I'm not gonna get it up and running though because I don't have time. Uh, otherwise, um, let's get into it. Here's my signal cabinet here. And uh, let me set you up here. All right, I am gonna run you through what is going on with this signal. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, we have eight phases in use, okay? And then we have uh, a phase A, uh, excuse me, <laughs> a phase. My, my head is like, like so full of stuff right now. <laughs> this, this here is actually a phase nine. Uh, I know this says overlap A, but this is wired into this box. However, this is actually a phase nine that I've set up. This is a, um, a physical phase nine that I have driving out of <clears throat> the overlap channel. Okay, that being said, B and D, overlap B and D are my flashing yellow arrows for phases three and seven, okay? Um, this particular intersection um, is one of the intersections that have a transit lane. And this signal, if you're familiar with, um, I don't know if you live in a city or whatever, um, on the bottom portion or the green, um, you will actually have a vertical line the center portion or your amber, you're gonna have a triangle. And the top portion, you're actually gonna have a horizontal line, okay? Now, during the clearance, uh, the yellow clearance interval for this particular phase, which happens to be phase nine, the, the triangle actually flashes. Okay, and that's per MUTCD standard um, that these transit phases operate like this. And it's sort of to differentiate from a normal vehicle phase. Um, so, um, this particular signal is also designed in such a way where I had to kind of create uh, some logic to make the signal run the way that the engineers and the... Um, the transit, municipal, municipal transit um, wanted it to run. And basically what they want is this phase, when it's triggered by a bus, okay? Very specifically, when it is triggered by a bus, we want this phase to come up before this phase, okay? Phase six, because they're right next to each other, okay? you have a phase six vehicle movement on the inside, then the outside lane you have a phase nine bus lane, 
And then on the curb, you have your crosswalk for phase six. So what I've done is created a logic statement that actually calls phase six ped from a loop input that will be further back. This intersection is actually going to get uh, video detection. And so we're going to have a special input assigned to that particular, uh, to that particular uh, input. So I have an input that is designed for calling phase nine as well as placing a ped call on phase six. I've also placed a bit of a delay on this loop, okay? So the loop input has a delay so that if somebody gets in that lane to make a right turn or if a bus just follows through, that they're not going to lock in a call for the ped and then trigger that delay for the next cycle. If you're following me now, I've got my loop here, okay? And as you can see, they're all coming up at the same time and the ped's not active. But if I take my load switch and trigger my call, there's a delay going in right here. You can't hear the beep because I didn't set the beep, but now the call went in and locked in a ped call on my controller, okay? And now after one and five are done serving, watch what happens. Nine came up, six walk came up, six just served. So it works. Um, it was not easy. I actually worked with the controller manufacturer. Uh, this logic statement was done in an Econolite and I'm actually running this particular logic statement on three intersections. They're different configurations. Some of them have a very, very standard configuration and some of them have more overlaps going on. This one has a couple of flashing yellow arrows. Some of them have flashing yellow arrows as well as a right turn overlap. Um, but uh, yeah. I'm content, but still my work is not complete because after I'm done configuring this, right, I get my program. It sits here for a couple of weeks and it burns, right? What I do is I review the program, I test my preemption inputs, I verify preemption is working the way that it's designed to, uh, then I... Um, I will take the database, I will document all of the programming, and I will save it actually in a file folder that we have on a drive just for the signal technicians, as well as take the database and send it to my engineering department so that the engineers can actually take it, plug it into a controller, they can actually review it, they can test it, and they could put it into a test cabinet if they want to. Um, I don't believe that our engineers have a test cabinet, but what they usually do is they plug the controller into Centrax so that they can watch it um, function in Centrax because that tells them what they need to know from their end. Um, Centrax is uh, the central management software suite for Econolite controllers, so ASC3s as well as the Cobalts. Um, and that's about as much as I think I could cover on this particular uh, deal. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post. Um, like I said, I am probably going to post a last day um, video, and that's going to include going over some of these uh, um, antique controllers and a little bit about the history of uh, of the way signals have been maintained here at my soon to be old job of King County. Really neat place and uh, yeah, um, looking forward to making a second video showing you all this stuff. So um, I'll talk to you all soon. Catch you later. Uh, like, subscribe, I guess, maybe, bell, I don't know.
Bye.